Hello, I am Erdem from Uvision. In this video I will introduce you sources and some more basic terms. I will start by voltage sources and voltage sources are divided into two. The first one is independent voltage sources. Independent voltage sources supply supply indicated voltage value to their branch and they supply these values regardless of current flowing through them for instance let's say hundreds amperes flowing through this voltage source or let's say 80 amperes flowing through this voltage source whatever current flows through this voltage source this supplies 4 volts to its branch the one, the one way we interpret independent voltage source in a circuit schematic is by this is by this symbol or with this symbol the second voltage sources the second voltage source is actually dependent voltage sources they again supply supply indicated voltages to their branches regardless of current whatever current flows through them but their value their value depend depend on current value or voltage value of another component elsewhere in the circuit this is this is voltage dependent voltage source and voltage value of this voltage source depends on voltage across this resistor let's say uh, this resistor has voltage difference across its terminals Vx and this voltage source supplies alpha a constant times Vx to its branch or let's say uh, current Ix flows flows through this resistor and this and this current dependent current dependent voltage source supplies beta a constant times I of X to its branch so uh, these are two kinds of voltage sources and now let's talk about current sources actually current sources are not very different from voltage sources they are also uh, divided divided into two which is uh, independent sources independent current sources and dependent current sources and independent current sources supply indicated current value supply indicated current value regardless of voltage difference across its terminals let's say 100 100 voltages or sorry 100 volts 50 volts 1 volt doesn't matter they they just supply 4 amperes 4 amperes to the circuit all right dependent current sources are just like dependent voltage sources they supply they supply indicated current value to the circuit and their value depend on their value depend on uh, the voltage value or current value of another component uh, in elsewhere in the circuit for instance this is a circuit component all right and it has a voltage difference across its terminals vy and this current source supplies a times a constant a is a is a constant a times vy to the circuit or uh, i iy flowing through this component and this current dependent current source supplies b times a constant times iy to the circuit so these are the sources i want to talk about I will now move on to Ohm's law, which is a very famous law, and I think you are very, very familiar with this. Ohm's law says that voltage across a resistor and current flowing through a resistor is directly proportional to each other, and this this relation could be interpreted mathematically as such: V equals I times R. All right, I want get into details of Ohm's law uh, this is a very basic basic law if you are not familiar 
you should check a freshman level physics course or textbook. All right. Now I will I will introduce you some more basic terms uh, in in circuit theory because we will also use these terms very frequently throughout the videos. So you must know these terms. Let's start by the branch. Branch represents a single element in the circuit. Let me give you examples. For instance, this is a voltage source, right? And this is a branch actually. This is a branch actually because there is a one there is one source here and branch represents single element. This is also a branch. This is also a branch. This is branch, this is branch, this is branch. Alright? Note the point of connection of two or more branches. So this is a node actually. There are three branches connected to it. This is a node actually. There are one, two, three, four branches connected to itself. Or this is a branch actually. Sorry, this is a node actually. There are one, two and three branches connected to it. I have made a mistake here. This is a node, I am right, but this is not the whole node. This is the node. So the node I want to express uh, a couple of seconds ago is this node. This is a node, alright? There are one, two, three, four and five branches connected to this node. And next term is loop. Any closed path. So, starting from this point in the circuit, this is a loop actually. Go, 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 go. Right? Any closed path in the, in the circuit is loop. So this is a loop. Starting from here, this path is a loop. Or, this is a loop actually. Or, this is a loop. I don't know if I have said the same thing, but I think you get the point. The next term and the last term is mesh. Mesh is actually a special case of loop. And mesh is loop which does not contain a loop within it. So, a uh, couple of seconds ago I told you that this is a loop. Right, this is a loop, but this loop this loop contains other loops in itself. For instance, this is also a loop, but this does not contain a loop in itself. So this is a mesh actually. This is a loop, but this is not a mesh because it has loops in it. The first loop is this. This is actually a mesh as I said. And the second loop is this. This is actually a mesh also. So if a loop does not contain a loop within itself, it's called mesh, alright? This is a mesh. This is a mesh. This is a mesh. So, that's all I want to say in this video. Uh, thanks for watching.